everyone, and welcome to Champlain Park High School for CTN's live coverage of boys' high school soccer. A sunny but very windy late September afternoon as the Rebels host the Coon Rapids Cardinals in a Northwest Suburban Conference showdown. Joe Yun and very soon to be joined by Howie Shapiro in the booth to bring you all of today's action. And uh, two teams, uh, they're coming in at a little bit of different pace. The Cardinals coming in off a rough loss over Forest Lake, a game in which uh, they were beaten by the Rangers 7-1. to And on the, on the flip side, a 6-3 record for the Rebels coming in. They've had some injuries, some things changing up throughout the first part of this season, but uh, sitting pretty good at, at the midway point. Yeah, you know, and I assume you're talking about Champlain Park since I, ju I just got here. But, yeah, they're they're a tough team. And, and Coach Paco said this is a team that we have to play tough against right from the start. We can't afford to fall behind. Well, and the Rebels will have the wind at their back for the first half, and that is a very serious wind. Uh, it is very consistently gusting toward the Coon Rapids net. Coon Rapids gets the opening possession, but... Again, working it upfield against a tough opponent with a very, very stiff win. Virgil stopping up with it into the middle for Aze Amajoy. Gonna like saying that name this afternoon. He'll get used to it eventually. <laughs> Coach Paco and I were talking this afternoon and the Cardinals really have played better on the road than they have at home. So they're hoping that uh, this transfer is over. They can get off that 7-1 loss to Forest Lake and come out and have a strong game here tonight. This is number 36. Might be Mike Bia, who is rostered at 35 on the handwritten roster I was given. Near side is Dylan Burchill. Pushing it ahead to Amajoy. Amajoy trying to get around, but can't. Poked away by Dennis Pasker. Dewar leaving it back. 36 is Bia. Job, Joe. Educated guess. Well, not very, right. not, not highly, right. not highly educated, but somewhat educated. T Garden's throwing pretty quickly, turned around by the guys in white. Ackerman back over to T Garden on the far sideline. He has it shielded away from him by Burchill into the corner and it'll go out the end line and be a goal kick Coon Rapids. You know, the, the key for Coon Rapids tonight, Joe, is just playing a lot better on defense. They they kind of reverted back to, uh, <laughs> got my papers all over the place. You know, they're kind of reverting back to the defense they played in the summer and that's something Coach Paco is a little bit concerned about as you just saw, Coach Paco. Well, and it, and at this point, they just need to try and fend off the Rebels when uh, throughout the first half and, and hope that the wind stays at their back when they start the second. I mean, it's makes it extra tough to get downfield. Videste trying to get around, poked it back for Figueroa, and he had trouble with it. Near side is Dewar for Haji. Haji turned aside by Ackerman out of bounds, throw in for the Rebels. Chapel Park has some goal scorers that, uh, that certainly the Cardinals have to be concerned about. So that's the importance of the fact they're playing well. If they play well on defense, keep that ball out of the middle. Bia trying to cross to the back side over there. For it is Drew Collins. Pushes his back, served into the middle. A header and a goal for Kessley Dewar. A quick score by Chapel Park gives them the early advantage. On a nice serve in, Dewar, the perfectly placed header. It's Jose Armando Duran with the serve inside. Again, we'll get another look at that. 
as it just, uh, Jula can't get to it. Right into that lower corner and the Rebels out to a 1-0 lead. In just the fifth minute of play, Rebels have that early lead, now played all the way back to the keeper, McAdam, back near side for Dylan Burchill. Long serve, stopped up by Alex Lynch and turned around. Can't get past midfield. There with it is Caleb Aronson. Long play to the far corner, trying to get Haji. But Lynch able to turn it back upfield. Teagard will settle, play back towards the middle of the field. Bedeste coming back to help out. Gibson will track it on the near sideline. Head for Figueroa who settles. Pressured by Burchill. Play it into the middle, but a lot of white jerseys there to cut it off and turn it around. Well, Carlos can't let that early goal rattle them. They, they have to continue to press. Aronson across midfield. Long play to the corner, and Haji had already cut back toward the middle of the field. And easily played out another goal kick, Coon Rapids. Well, good thought originally to feed him inside. There's uh, head coach Scott Dossett. Had an opportunity to chat with him a little bit this afternoon. And uh, he just basically emphasizes continue to work. Our kids continue to work on their skills, play one game at a time. Don't look past any game. You know, they know coming in here that they, they have a better record than the Cardinals, but they cannot afford to look past them. Well, again, with the wind at their back, keeping the pressure on early. Here's a chance again around the corner for Haji. And uh, just not the angle he wanted on it. And it'll be another goal kick for the Cardinals. Yeah, good, another good opportunity for the Rebels here is Haji able to get behind the defense. But as you mentioned, didn't get the kind of shot he wa that he wanted on the ball. Clear stopped up by Armando Duran. Pass inside was stopped up by Mosier for Coon Rapids. Attempt to clear, not far enough. Lynch swings a foot at it, and again, right back to Aronson. And Champlain Park will move the ball around. Back out near midfield, near side for Dylan Burchill. Amajoy, pressured by Charambere from behind. <laughs> Able to get around it, poked away by Ackerman, but right there for it was uh, Haji poked ahead to Gale and Tomboy can't control it. Tea Garden far side for the Cardinals. Well, the Rebels have some quickness uh, inside. Well, and the long passes for Coon Rapids are not going to get the job done because there's always a white jersey in that lane. Stopped up by Bauer, settled by Figueroa. Getting around the pressure is Pasker. Now double team comes and he's Relieved of the ball, Amajoy. Good footwork, and then plays it to himself in the corner off of the boot by Ackerman. Bauer coming to mark. Amajoy out toward the corner of the 18. Look for help. Bia couldn't push it back to him. Back near side for Burchill. Armando Duran plays it back to the far side. Long run for Collins, but able to keep it in. Skipped away from Bia. Waiting for it here was Dewar. And here's Burchill on the overlapping run. Tracked down by Bauer along the sideline. Ball was out of bounds. and Bauer just stopped, looked at the uh, line the line judge clearly had his flag up. Well, the Cardinals yet to really generate anything offensively. Champel Park's controlling. Well, and they're doing a great job of getting on. at least three, if not four guys back. And it, Coon Rapids is attacking with just the two forwards. Right. But with this strong wind, it's just so hard to get anything moving upfield. Have to keep the ball on the ground. Our 
Armando Duran can't keep it in. But uh, yeah, you, you were correct in the statement you made earlier. If they can keep the score, you know, certainly down when they when they are, they have the wind to them. Hopefully, in that second half, they can get an opportunity to get in this game. Figueroa overran it a little bit, and Amajoy right there to take it away. Handed off for Aronson, now back to Burchill, who boots it into the Coon Rapids end over Ackerman's head, and he'll just let Jula take it and punt it away. Just over nine minutes into this contest, the Rebels already on the board, up 1-0. Senior night for Champlain Park soccer team. So they certainly want to have a good outing look, on their home field. Again, look at the quickness Champlain Park exhibits. Amajoy working against Bauer. Bauer able to come away with the ball good and then gets past Dewar as well. Plays it ahead. And now Sharambari battling against the near sidelines and coming away with it. Egan Pappet, his pass stepped up and booted away by Lynch, who is shielding Haji away from the ball. Dewar trying to get inside, he has the goal. His shot blocked by Ackerman, comes back to Figueroa. Dewar right there to pressure to get that ball right back. Played ahead, long run. Videste Sharambere first on it, trying to tap ahead to Gale. And good angle taken by the last line of defense for Champlain Park. Keeping Tomboy off the ball. That was Ryan Ingram. Yeah, Ingram did a really nice job defensively to make sure that the Cardinals were not going to get an opportunity for a shot on goal. Just did a great job of staying with him, then taking the ball away. Amajoy near side for Haji. Abdul Haji working against Ackerman. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Picked up by Lynch there. Gets it off for Bia. Tap far side for Abdul Duran. Abd Armando Duran, and he kicks it high and wide. Yeah, I got a, a good opportunity again for the Rebels. Get a good break and a, and a try to get it on from the angle, lift over the goalkeeper, but a little bit too much on it. Well, and again, it, as hard as it is to move the ball upfield right. into the wind, it, it can be just as hard to shoot with the wind at your back because the ball carries so much Correct. further, so much faster keeps its distance so much longer. Shot just over the cage for Abdul Haji. Another goal kick for the Cardinals. Rebels piling up the shots attempted. Just one on goal. That was the one that found the back of the net off the head of Kessley Dewar. More importantly, they're getting open looks from in front of the net, and that's defensively. Cardinals have to do a better job of trying to prevent that. Sasan Romani in the game, as well as Jonas Zabriski. Figueroa, middle of the field, long boot. There to stop it up was Ingram. Settled by Pasker, but a good slide tackle to take it away. And now here's Amajoy near side. Tried to tap it behind him for Romani, and Romani was already going the other way. And Tomboy taps it back. Figueroa loses it right back out of bounds. Turnover back to the Rebels. Yeah, just not able to mount anything at this point. And as you mentioned, give a, a lot of credit. A lot of white jerseys were on the ball when the Cardinals are trying to advance. Long throw down the line. Romani will use his speed to get to the corner. Cross attempt blocked up by Ackerman, but out the end line 
And a corner kick coming up for Champlain Park. Always dangerous corner kick coming up for Champlain Park. It'll be Caleb Aronson, and he just goes short to Amajoy. His centering attempt was blocked up by Pasker, and Pasker clears it back out near center field. Stopped up there by Birchall. His pass to the middle broken up by Vedesti Sharambore, and he'll play it along the near side. Overrunning it a bit was Brian Koss. It ends up out of bounds, but two Coon Rapids. Bauer, Vedeste tried to touch it over to Gale. Gale surrounded by white jerseys. Koss had it momentarily. Coming away with it is Armando Duran. And Duran's still in possession. Back to Burchill. Quick tap to Zabriskie. Over for Ingram who runs far side. There to help him out is Drew Collins. Off of Lynch and spins out of bounds far side. Be a throw in for the Rebels and they go quick. Trying to spring Haji around the corner. Good quick recovery by Lynch. Haji will play it back out to Amajoy, top of the block, box. And all the way back to Birchall. Near side, Armando Duran. Into the middle for Aronson and tap back to Amajoy. Amajoy. And a little give and go with Aronson, but didn't connect and he's able to use that speed to get the ball right back. Birchall stopping up. Sharambere was there as well as in Tomboy and Cardinals called for a foul. It might be the first foul we've seen now. I, th I, think, it, I think it is. Pretty clean game almost midway through the first half. And boy, they, uh, the Rebels do not waste time on their set set pieces. They just want to put that ball back in play. Well, they're a quick moving offense and they want to, you know, continue to give the Cardinals pressure down in their end. And the quicker they move it, they want to try and catch the Cardinals uh, defensively a little off guard. Collins and Aronson tried to play a little give, give and go along the far sideline. Ended up back out of bounds to the Cardinals. Lynch stopping that up, pushed out of bounds by Ethan Mosier. Rebels get it back in quick. Armando Duran had to get off away from him. Figueroa recovers for the Cardinals. He's trailed, but gets it in Tomboy at center field. Back to Figueroa running the left wing, cut off by Ingram. Ingram with the steal, turns back up field, finds a friendly face, and feeds him the soccer ball. Amajoy right back to Armando Duran. And right back to Amajoy. Tried to clear it between the defenders and get Haji in on the breakaway, but it was stopped up by Ackerman. Lost out of bounds near side by Sharambore. Thrown right back in quickly. Romani got it into Haji and now gets it back. Left footed kick right on net, but a relatively easy scoop for Jula. Well, Cardinals are making sure they, they have at least six guys back defensively because they know how dangerous Champlain Park can be when they're in close. And at that time, able to get a relatively easy shot in on goal. Easy save for Jula. And Tomboy near side for Koss. Tried to touch it right back for Videste, but a little too much on it. They'll come back near side, headed toward midfield by Romani. Nice battle by Amajoy. AZ Amajoy, cut into the middle. He's got some room to work with. Stepping up is Lynch. Got it behind him. And Haji is shot and a save for the keeper, Jula. Boy, right, nice give and go. And Haji got alone for a nice shot in on goal. Jula did a great job of making sure he extended, bring that ball in. Nice save for the Cardinal goalie. <laughs> Coon Rapids got the ball back out as far as midfield, but quickly turned around. And now Sharambore called for a trip 
And a free kick coming up for the Rebels. And again, they don't far enough away that they know there's not a real opportunity to get something indirect to the net. So just uh, go ahead and pass it off and get that ball moving again. Zabriskie steps up, stops up the Cardinal progression. Aronson had uh, Romani back to Birchall trying to get it to Aronson, able to keep it in near sideline, no. Yeah, you know, I got the roster from the school today, but uh, apparently there's a, a number of changes. Well, they were written on after after we arrived as well, <laughs> including three of the 11 starters were written onto the roster. It's kind of interesting midway through the season. Well, when I coach, talked to Coach Dawson, he was unsure of his starters uh, as, as of I think about 2.30. And he would have said it was a game time decision. Luis Duran comes in, he gets a shot on net. It's efficient, he just checked into the ball game. Good punt into the win. Chirambere can't get up high enough to get there. Turned around by Collins. Radwan Alwanen over on the other side, battling hard and maybe a little bit too hard. Called for the push. Romani into the corner, Burchill can't get there in time. It's out of bounds. Uh, Cars are gonna have to try and figure something out here in, in terms of how they can get some possession down in the, the Rebel Ed. You know, so far, Champa Park has just been a dominating play here with a little under, just about 19 minutes left in the opening half. Romani didn't get that one to spin quite the way he wanted it to. Right back out of bounds to Coon Rapids. Settled by Ingram, left off for Aronson, back to Burchill. Long boot headed away by Bauer for Coon Rapids. Figueroa battling for position, comes away from the, with the ball for the Cardinals, sprints it behind trying to get it for Sidney Achi, who just came on the field and he was offside. Well, defensively, the Rebels do a great job of getting back even when there's a, a potential amount of, for a threat. Duran's pass stopped up by Lynch. Plays it back and now Aronson for Armando Duran. Tried to get it into the middle, headed away. Figueroa battling and comes away with possession again. Chirambere had a touch. This one will be scooped up by McAdam. Just played away quickly for Burchill. Into the middle, Aronson had to bounce away from him. Got it ahead to Luis Duran. Duran's pass again, headed away by Lynch. And then by Ackerman, but right to Aronson. Pass trying to get it inside to Zabriskie and it's turned away over there by Rowanit. Pasker pushes it ahead for Vincente Chirambere. Trying to get around Pappen. Passed it out front, took a heavy hit, and that'll lead to a Cardinal free kick from a dangerous spot. Well, you know, a nice thought too, but getting that pass in the middle. He had Gale trailing inside. Gale's on the side. Nope, line. that's sorry, that was not Gale. It's Sidney Achi. Yep. Playing in 
Gail Stead as he gets a chance to get a little bit of a breather. We'll see what Coon Rapids does with its first chance at a set piece. Ackerman just going to go right to the net, right off the <laughs> far crossbar and post, right where they be. That was pretty that good was, control that was with the wind. Good. I agree. And uh, put the, and it, the boy, it the didn't have to be. Spin. And, and it didn't have to be, but another foot down and in, and that would have been a goal because McAdam was not expecting that. Skipped up, got Pasker on the chin. Pass broken up by Bauer. Figueroa battles against Duran. Far side, Alwanen. Racing with Collins, ends up out of bounds to the Cardinals. Haji back in. I'm sorry, uh, Duar is back in for Champa Park as his tea garden for the Cardinals. Andrew Boulder also getting an opportunity to check in for the Cardinals. Trip will give the Cardinals another throw it or another uh, free kick. I don't think he's going to go direct this time. I don't think so either. This one headed away, but right back to Ackerman, and he just boots it in on goal. Easy save for McAdam, and wow, that punt is going to travel a long, long way and be very, very out of bounds. <laughs> the, the yeah, wind, I, definitely I'm, the wind took that. I was going to say, I'm sure he's got a pretty good leg. <laughs> but... It's not that good on on many days, but on today, but today, oh yeah. Pasker going to be called for the fouls. He got tied up with Haji and free kick for the Rebels, and it doesn't look like they're going to take their time with this one either. Duran just clears it far side to Collins. Well, give and go with Zabriskie. A little too much spin on it. The Cardinals turn it around, but right back to Duran. Finds a little bit of space and fires wide. Another Coon Rapids goal kick coming up. Another good execution by Champ Park. Good look at the goal, but just a little too much. Armando Duran able to get to the goal kick first, taken away then by Mosier, pushed ahead for Teagarden. He has it taken right back by Armando Duran. Luis Duran taps it back to Collins and now Ingram and Pepin. Pepin near side for Birchill, back to Pepin. Now cross again, Collins in the green shoes. Head to Armando Duran and now back to Ingram. Ingram long boot down the far sideline and they'll just let that one run out and it'll be a goal kick. Approaching, we're Joe, we're approaching the 12 minute mark and Cardinals just with uh, I think a couple of shot attempts, one on goal so far. Well, and But both, they're staying, at this point it's one nothing so they're staying in this game. And, and both by uh, Blake Ackerman and both off of free kicks. Yep. Yeah, the, the Rebels have piled up the scoring chances here in the first half. Again, the, the wind is a tremendous help at your back, but it will be telling to see what happens if the wind Continues. Well, yeah, and, and well, not only this for this game, but also for the second game that we're doing. In fact, the girls' game as well. Yes. 
Settled by Dewar. He's able to get it back. Play it back for Birchall. Birchall into the middle for Ingram and right past him to Collins. Drew Collins far side. He'll get it back. Good touch passing along the side. And this is Bia running with a little bit of space in front of him and some help aside. Trying to cut that corner and cross out front, but it's played out the end line off of the Cardinal block. And it'll be another corner kick for the Rebels. Cardinals defensively, I think, doing a little bit better job of keeping keeping the ball wide last couple of minutes. Caleb Aronson will take the corner, second corner of the game for Champlin Park. First time they just kind of passed out of the corner. This time high serve toward the back post and a little too tall. Then booted back to the far side. And it'll end up out of bounds and throw it for the Rebels. Now out the end line and a goal kick, Coon Rapids. A lot of time spent to our left. Yes. And as I as I mentioned, it'll be telling to see uh, if we see the action again all the way to the left of us all through the second half. We'll know it was a lot due to the win. Well, the Cardinals would certainly love to get a tally before the break, but they would also be, I think, okay with the score at one nothing going into the break and just staying in this game at that situation, especially a team as talented as Champel Park. Well, and as we've talked about, you know, in a tight game, it, they begin to favor the quote unquote underdog. Yep. Absolutely. Collins taps it back into the middle. Duran back to Aronson and we'll get it back. And then played out the far side. That pass not going where he wanted it to. Wanted to get it over to Mike Beal along the far sideline. Gibson back in for Coon Rapids. I'm a joy also while returning for the Rebels. Haji in between a couple of Cardinals, still comes away with it. Has Bia on the far side, trying to work against Elwanen. Will stop up and find help with Drew Collins. Crossing back to the near side, Burchill will track it down and settle it. Tapping it to Dewar, Dewar bumped and able to spin away from Gibson. Bauer there to help, but off his foot out and another corner kick for Champlin Park. Okay. Defense is trying to limit that opportunity inside. Try and take away some of that speed and then move to the middle for Champlin Park. Header a little bit too high. Good setup. Yeah, really good setup. It's Duran who got in there and got into great position. Put a lot of power on the header, but high and wide. Lynch's boot touched by Pasker. Another goal kick for the Cardinals. And uh, Lynch's leg might get a little worn out by <laughs> halftime. I think you're correct. Oh, he heard you. Goes short to Mosier ahead. Alwanen had it slip away out of bounds. Virgil working against Bauer. Back to Amajoy. 
Amajoy into the corner, a little too much on a goal kick, Coon Rapids. Yeah, trying, to, trying to free him, but as you mentioned, just uh, too much. And again, the, it, another, another good opportunity by the defense to keep him wide. Gibson heads it, settled by Amajoy. Good footwork to get around Sharambare. Tried a little give and go, and it skipped away from Tea Garden and got to him. Haji is in, though, oh, offside. Boy. Scooped up yeah. by Jula. But I think originally, as he got up from that roll, Blake Ackerman looked at the ref and went, what? Yeah, I think he thought he was going to be called for an infraction. Well, because it'd be a PK down Right, there. absolutely. That'd be a horrible spot to, to give that up. Mojer's pass broken up by Duran. Bauer plays it ahead near side. Virtual a little late to get there, but then Gibson let it get too far in front of him, and Virtual will take it away. He'll kick back out of bounds right in front of the Rebel bench. Uh, gives the Rebels a chance to regroup defensively. Into Gale and Tomway, tapping it back to Pasker, tried a bicycle kick, went to the far side, headed away by Bia. Mosier will stop it up for Coon Rapids. Mosier trying to work inside against Bia. Then passed to Pasker, but it got right past him. Videste stopped up by Duran. Duran has trouble, lost it. Shot by Videste high and wide. And a goal kick for Tampa Park. Videste did a nice job of trying to create some space for himself. And use a little bit of his speed to open up a little bit of space. Pasker pressuring for the Cardinals as they swing it over to Gibson and he, or Collins, he'll play it back in Ingram. Ahead, nice job keeping it in bounds over there by Mike Bia. Poked into the middle for Haji. Haji, a lot of red jerseys in front of him, cleared away by Lynch out of bounds. I'll give an opportunity for the Rebels on a throw and to see if they can set something up here with 3.20 remaining. They would love to take a, a two goal lead into the break. Aronson leads it off. Haji is shot from a ways out right into the midsection of Spencer Jula. back out of bounds by Birchall. that he had. Jared Musolf at the back line for the Cardinals now. Pass skips away from Malwan and out of bounds. Back down under two minutes remaining now in the first half. Champel Park got that one goal back in the fifth minute. Great header by Kessley Dewar. And while they have dominated in possession time and opportunity have not been able to push that gap any wider. Pasker pushing it ahead and Tomboy tried to set him up on a little give and go, but a turnover back to the Rebels. Duran pushing it in. 
Dewar stops up, now shoots, misses wide, and a goal kick, Coon Rapids. You see, you see the Rebels putting on pressure offensively here, doing a nice job having five. Well, he had the corner. I'm not up. sure why he stopped up. Yeah. Maybe he felt that the angle wasn't the right way he wanted, but he wanted to see if he could beat the defender and create a little more open space for him. himself. Amajoy back to Aronson. Duran back to Burchill. Long through ball. Too far in front of Dewar, scooped up by Jula. Look, they have time for one more opportunity. Amajoy working to the center of the defense, tried to get it into Bia, stopped up and cleared away by Lynch. Cleared away by Mosier out of bounds, and that'll do it for the first half. So the Rebels do get the one tally five minutes in, but uh, despite pressuring and pressuring, we're not able to put any cushion on. So it's a 1-0 game as we reach the half. We'll take a break. Be back with first half stats and highlights. You're watching Live Boys Soccer on CTF. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Back at Champlain Park High School, halftime, the Rebels all smiles up 1 0 over the Coon Rapids Rebels. And it was all Champlain Park in the first half. They did have the wind at their back, so aided by that, were able to keep the pressure in the Cardinals' end. They got that goal off the header by Kessley Dewar just in the fifth minute, and uh, that's the only score thus far, but they did get a lot of opportunities to look at that Cardinal net. They really did a lot of pressure, Joe, that they, they put in on, on Jula, and, and he made a couple of nice, nice saves, one in particular. You know, and I think that uh, I think Paco has to be pretty comfortable about where this team is now at the break. 1-0, as you see, the definitely the shots attempted far outweigh the Cardinals. 12 to three, and five of those shots on goal. So I mean, this is an opportunity for Coon Rapids, even though they're you know they don't have the same kind of record that Champlain Park has. They're right in this contest, and if they play well, and now they have if they get the wind down the other end, maybe they have an opportunity to tie this thing up and see where it goes from there. Well, we'll see if they how much of a difference maker that win can be. The Cardinals have it at their back when we start the second half. And that's coming up next, Live Boys Soccer on CTN. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. We're still, uh, we're still waiting for our Champlain Park just came back on the field. We're getting ready to start the second half. And you, and you look at Champlain Park, and they, they probably talk about, look at the, all the opportunities that they had. Well, they uh, didn't have a lot of time well, to talk because it's senior night, so they right. had the big celebration at half. You know, pictures with mom and dad. Beautiful day for it. It is. Sun-wise. Can't tell in the picture unless uh, somebody's got a lot of hair that's standing up sideways. 
just how breezy it is here at Champlain Park. But, yeah, they have to uh, think about uh, they missed a lot of opportunity yeah, they in did. that first half. They did, and, and they're looking to get that back here in the second. But now the Cardinals will uh, will play down this end with the wind at their backs, an opportunity to see if they can get the goal. You know, and I think if they can get a tally here quickly, that changes the complexion of this ball of this match a little bit because now it takes uh, it takes puts a little more pressure on Champlain Park. Well, and again, with the wind, it would put perhaps a lot of pressure on the, the Rebels because then they would have to fight into the wind and try and come from behind. There's a look at Old Glory just has been in that state since we started, just straight out. Second half underway and the ball pushed back to the Champlain Park defense. Try and work it up the near side out off of Tea Garden. Be Rebel throw it. You know, also be interesting to see how, how Champlain Park plays into the wind in this half. See what their game, how their game change uh, plan changes a little bit. Pasker a little takeaway, but taken right back by Bia. Kick back to Lynch. Ahead for Figueroa for Coon Rapids. Working against a couple of different defenders. Taps it ahead for Pasker. Slid away from him. Duran near side for Zabriskie. Back to uh, Drew Collins. Lost it out of bounds right in front of the Coon Rapids bench. A little too much on that. Sharambare shouldered off it pretty good by uh, Ingram down there. Obviously a much lar larger body for Ryan Ingram. The Coon Rapids throw in deep in the corner. The Re Rebels attacked the, attack the Cardinals early in that first half and because of that wind. Right into the middle and oh. what was it all one and they came sprinting in and nearly put a head on it just in front of the keeper, McAdam. That's got a, I don't know that that can be counted as a shot on goal though because had he not stopped it, it no. wouldn't have counted because he threw it. Bauer just going to clear this one out of danger on the far sideline. Now the Rebels have their first opportunity down in the Cardinal end. Just starting this second half with Champlain Park up 1-0. Not a whole lot on that shot from Luis Duran, but it's on goal. So you got that going for you. Yeah, you which got is nice. that going, which is always nice. One hops to the keeper at the other end. Yeah, there's definitely no let up in this wind at this point. Zabriski working down the near sidelines, pushes it ahead to Bia, back to Zabriski. Zabriskie is shot, and now it's just over the net and off the crossbar. Got a nice look for Zabriskie as he created some space for himself. He got the shot on goal. Bia trying to find some room working against Figueroa, taps it back for Collins and then a one touch. Zabriskie in the corner trying to curve it back out front, bodied toward the net by Jordan, or by uh, Sason Romani. And a pretty easy save for Jula. I mean, if that win, you, you really can get a boot on it. 
Yeah, he's got to. Got it's too much of it. Yeah, he, he's got to take a little yeah, bit a little off because that's again one first one, one hopped to his counterpart McAdam, and this one two hops off the end line and sets up a goal kick. Big collision as Collins went up for it and Sharambare took the legs out from under him and that'll draw the foul at a free kick Champlain Park. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Gets up uh, pretty quickly there. You see collision there. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, definitely wasn't ex he was not expecting that. Well, neither was Videsta. No. You can see his head completely focused on the ball. I had no idea he was about to run into a body. Pasker stops up that pass, tries to get it in behind. Both Videste and Gale were there. A little too far, and it skips in on McAdam. Throws it back out to Collins, near side Zabriski. Zabriski tracked down by Ntambwe and loses the ball. Ntambwe trying to create, taken away by Armando Duran. Near side for Bia. Mike Bia waits for help. Back to midfield. Too many red jerseys there, and he coughs it up, battles to get it back, tangled up with Ntambwe who taps it to Figueroa. Far side, therefore it is Alwanen. He was caught from behind by Romani. And now Zabriskie waits for it near side. Teagarden pokes that one out of bounds. Figueroa double teamed along the sideline. And it'll be Coon Rapids yeah. ball. I think Figueroa they, actually lost it out of bounds before it was tapped out, but the Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals will, will take it. Cardinals Absolutely. will definitely take it. Without a doubt. The Gardens throw, same problem as uh, Jula's punt. You know, I don't think they realize, that. I, I, obviously they know it's windy, but they don't realize on that throw and how much the wind will affect that. Gadding yeah, able to keep it low, but Pasker stops it up, a little give and go with Alwana, now back to the far side. Virtual, a little too much body. Supposed to be a non-contact sport. What? Who, me? <laughs> Every sport. Got to argue it, right? Yep, without a doubt. Ackerman will take the free kick. This one from a tough angle, but in kind of close. They go short side and turn right back out by Burchill. Ackerman waits for it. And now uh, serves it in behind the defense where Pasker is all alone, and that is and against the rules. Yeah. They tend not to let you get away with that. Not, uh, that, was, that was an easy call. Yeah. Even I could tell yeah, he was off, offside, and that, that's saying something. It's got to be pretty obvious for me to pick up on it when it comes to soccer rules. You're saying you're not an aficionado? <laughs> I, I I enjoy it. I uh, I don't know that I could go that far. No. Okay, all right, all right. Still think they just need. Just wanted a, to clarify it with still you. Still think they need a blue line. <laughs> Long uh, boot, looking a little more for, contact, right? Looking for Romani. Well, it depends on which game you watch. <laughs> really, Romani able to play it back to Duran. And now for uh, Caleb. Aronson, his pass in was broken up and pushed back out. Videste trying to get past and send it in for Gale. Way out of his net is McAdam, and he's able to clear it out of bounds. He was a good 10 yards past the 18 yard box, but he saw that uh, a very dangerous scorer in Ntambwe was behind the defense with a direct line on the ball. Well, Paco was talking about Gale today and, and said he's got nine goals already. Only had, had six last year. And he's just a soft, I believe just a sophomore. Yes, just a sophomore. So, it's hard to tell because he, he's very talented, right. but he's also a big kid. He is. And, you know, he... And for him to be that tall, that quick, 
and, it, and just that headsy a player out there. And just a sophomore, pretty impressive. But, you know, he has the potential, depending on how things play out for him, to score, score close to 15 goals the rest you know, for the rest of the way. So if he could do that as a sophomore, that's great for the program. Opportunity for Pasker, couldn't get on top of it, well over the mark and out of play. Yeah, he's, a, he's definitely a nice asset for the program over the next couple of years. I'm a little sad though, I, I'm more of a Videste fan myself. Because I champion the little guy. I'm, I'm a fan of both. He's full I'm of a hustle. fan of both. The he's full of hustle. He is full of hustle. That's, There's my, no that's my kind of player. It's like you back in the day. I Back in my soccer day, you got to go in the way, way back machine for that. No, I'm just talking about in general. Here's just... Fideste trying to get around the corner, bumped off it by Ingram, and Ingram settles in the corner, able to slip around Mosier. Or no, that was all wanting down in the corner. Pasker trying to break things up. But yeah, as far as, as seniors, not a lot on the roster for the Cardinals. Uh, Sharambere definitely will be a loss. Uh, Blake Ackerman, who's been their, uh, their sweeper and obviously handles all their free kicks and goal kicks, will be a huge loss. Brian Koss, uh, their goalkeeper, Spencer Jula, uh, and Mohamed Abdallah are, are the seniors. So a lot of the, the team still very young and a lot of high school in front of them. This one played in a little too far looking for Bia, and Jula wisely comes out and scoops it up. Yeah, and you know, on the flip side, you look at uh, Champlin Park's roster, and they're, they're dominated by seniors. Yeah. And you know, it, it was a tough week because they come off that loss on, on Saturday to Forest Lake, seven to one. And talking to Paco, he said they, they were pretty discouraged. Uh, kind of, um, you know, at the end, we're not putting in the effort that they they expect out of them, no matter what the score. Um, and, I, and I talked to him, you know, what was the mood coming in? I mean, that, there's no chance to, to practice or, or even really get together as a team uh, between then and now. So. You know, what was the move coming in? And he said he, you know, at that point, really didn't have a great read on him. Uh, he was pretty amped up. He wanted to see He's the always team amped up. go out and, and, and really, you know, play closer to what, what they're capable of than, than what he saw from him on Forest Lake. Well, you know, I think his biggest concern coming out of that Forest Lake game was his defense, and they, they just did not play well. Speaking of wheels. He's got some wheels. Yeah. The big guy. I mean, Gail, <laughs> that Drew Collins had a good five or seven or maybe even ten yard gap, and it closed in a heartbeat. And he said, "You know what? I'm just going to kick this one, even if it is out the end line. I would rather that than get caught from behind and give it up to a scorer like Gail and Tomboy." T Garden will handle the corner kick, first corner of the game for the Cardinals. They go short, low post. Scrambles through. Gale had a foot on it. It's high and will end up out the end line. Out of play. Goal kick. Champlain Park. Yeah, and, they, and they were looking right this, into the sun on that opportunity, but just didn't get what they wanted on it. Goaltenders looking into the sun. See if they could catch him with a far angle shot. Boot stopped up by Pasker. Figueroa, a long shot in, and McAdam right in position to make the sliding save. Quickly outs as a brisky, touches it over the head of Teagarden, and now waits to settle. More red jerseys come over and relieve Zabriskie of the ball, but he's there to stick with it and take it right back, and then he's tripped up by Figueroa, and that'll Get the whistle, the free kick for the Rebels. And again, they get it in quickly. Yeah, they don't waste time on their... Hell, their substitution wasn't even off the field. <laughs> All right. There, there we go, right back to those. Is that really legal? I don't know. Well, if a, an official doesn't see it, then, then it doesn't well, really... Well, they... Correct. Then it doesn't it's really never matter. illegal if yeah. the official doesn't see it. Be a... Taps it into the corner. Collins back to Bia. Oh, and Armando 
Duran was right there and just not at all the angle. Oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, that was Sasson Romani. And uh, not even close. I don't know how you miss a 40 foot wide net from that close myself, but that's how you do it. A lot of spin on the ball. Improper angle on the foot. Duran goes down. And he's going to be called for it, dragging it on Figueroa as he went. Ackerman will take this free kick from straight out. He's about 45 yards from the net. He'll go right at it, and that's way too much. Yeah, a little, little too much foot on that you one. You cleared the yeah, entire stadium, yeah, it, my friend. It's all the way to the, uh, almost to the fence of the uh, baseball, baseball field. field. That was just a little much. You've got a 40 mile an hour wind at your back. And you know, we talk about Champlain Park missing, missing out on opportunities in the first half. Coon Rapids, because they were so outplayed in that first half, really have to capitalize and turn these those types of possessions into good scoring opportunities. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and that's the key, especially against a team like Jample Park who can explode and, and score a lot of number of scores on that squad and not, a lot of speed and athleticism. Dewar and Owanen tangled up and the penalty goes against Champlin. The Cardinals try and catch him off guard. Long through ball too far and scooped up by McAdam. Gale's got to put his cleat back on. He's going to be outside for a while. Oh, he's tying his shoe. Rebels working back down the near side. Left-footed shot is up and over for Jason Gonzalez. Another goal kick for the Cardinals. Uh, again, Gonzalez able to set himself up, but just too much on that kick. You can see him go, go past the defender, but you see a lot of rise on that ball. Lynch boots it away well past midfield when it skips and goes over the head of Ingram, the last line of defense. He'll be pressured there by Chirambere. Plays it back ahead. Oh, Armando Duran ahead for Gonzalez. Gonzalez pushes for Bia, long run, working against Alex Mosier, stops up, waits for help. Good numbers for the red jerseys back on defense. But the pass out the end line, another goal kick Cardinals. An opportunity for the Rebels not able to convert it. Kick stopped up by the head of Luis Duran, played back into the zone. Birchill clears. Waiting for it is Bauer. He'll just tap it back near midfield, but still bouncing around from head to head. Turned around there by Armando Duran, a header. Surprisingly enough, by Caleb Aronson. And now Dewar on the far side will settle it and actually use his feet. And uh, underneath it, up over the net, out of play, another goal kick, Coon Rapids. Yeah, the last two opportunities for the, for the Rebels have been exactly that, just too much air underneath the ball. And they've had good looks in front of the net as well. Mondo Duran stops that one up at midfield, keeps it in bounds as he plays it back to Lynch, and Lynch just clears it away. Didn't wasn't quite sure where Mike Bia was, but he knew he was behind him somewhere. And better to be safe than sorry. Always. Good touch passing by the Rebels, but then skips away and booted to the far end by Lynch. Ingram will play it back to McAdam. Far side for Birchill. Birchill's boot waited for and settled by Bia, who cuts back to the center of the field. Will tap, Aronson is shot right on the ground, and therefore it is Jula. And relatively easy save for Jula, as the Rebels trying to get a little pressure on the Cardinal net. Oh, 
Well, he didn't boot it out the <laughs> end line this Paco, time. Paco didn't like that that particular uh, kick by his netminder. Well, and again, you can't waste opportunities, and you have to value your possessions when you're being out-possessed. Absolutely. Because as time continues to go down, you don't know how many you're going to get. Birchall's boot just over the head of Ackerman, stopped up by Lynch. Ackerman has it back, runs past the slide tackle. Figueroa with it now for Coon Rapids, trailed by Armando Duran. Will walk around Gonzalez and recover his own pass. Trying to push it ahead for Gale and lost it out of bounds. Cost battling with Gonzalez, able to work it back to Collins, played back to the keeper, McAdam. Served down near midfield, Bauer tried to settle it. Spun away from him, Dewar leaves it for Bia. Bia, near side, Gonzalez. Gonzalez stopping, turning toward the middle and finds Armando Duran, or no, this is just uh, Luis Duran. Shot, save made. And there for the rebound is Jula. Uh, yeah, a dangerous opportunity there. Jula was able to come out and get that rebound, but if there would have been a Rebel a little closer to the doorstep, it may have been a tough time for the Cardinal keeper. Cardinals in a foot race to the other end, but they can't get there before the ball is out the end line. Another goal kick for Champlin Park. Gibson back in for Coon Rapids. As is Abdul Haji for Champlain Park. A little more than halfway through the second half. Cardinals looking for their first tally. Chirambere trying to find room around the right corner. In deep, tried to cross. Slide tackle out the end line. Corner kick, Coon Rapids. See if we can, uh, Cardinals can set up something here with that corner kick. Lynch will play it high to the back corner. Figueroa got in position for it, but not enough angle, and that's well out. Well wide. And Figueroa called for pushing a little bit, so it'll be a free kick instead of a goal kick. Changes the position all of five feet. You never know that extra five feet. Bia working to find some room into the middle of the field. Draws another defender, tried to skip it around Bauer. Lynch's clear attempt went off of Bauer. Second chance, stopped up by Armando Duran. Pressured by Gail and Tomboy. Out of bounds to the Rebels. Amajoy back in for Champa Park, and he is always dangerous with his speed. Collins throwing, trying to get it to Jason Gonzalez in the corner, and he will settle. Pass knocked away out of bounds by Koss. Dewar trying to work through a couple of defenders, pressured 
Crosses out front. That one's off the top oh. of the cage. Wow. That and the rebound be. redirected right back to Jula. Great effort to get the corner by Dewar. What a beautiful And then cross crosses that was. out front. Yep. It was at uh, Haji, I think, Abdullah Haji. Yep, it was right uh, in doorstep. position, and man cracked it off the crossbar. Duran's pass back for Haji, broken up by Bauer. Bauer will push it ahead to Figueroa. Figueroa at midfield, long push, trying to spring in Tombwe behind the defense. And Tombwe will pressure all the way until McAdam will skip it, scoop it up. 15 minutes remaining here in the second half. Champlin Park hanging on to that 1-0 lead. That goal coming in the fifth minute of play back in the first. I was just going to say, it was an early goal, and we've seen nothing nothing since. We've seen some opportunities, but nothing, uh, nothing finding the back of the net. 60 minutes of play without a goal. Yep. Right? 65 minutes in, they scored in the fifth minute. Yep. That would be yep. 60 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Your Minneapolis map is correct. Amajoy. Far side for Haji. Had to wait for the pass a little bit. A lot of red jerseys back on defense. Haji to the middle. His shot attempt is blocked. Gibson staying right with him. Played back near side. Too far. Throw in Cardinals. Mosier overran it, and Amajoy working against Lynch. Behind a Dewar, Dewar getting around the corner. Spinning back, tried to cross, stopped up by Lynch, got it right back. Tiptoes out front and an easy goal at the back door. Yeah, too many, white, I'm a joy. too many white jerseys out in front of the net. And he snuck that one across the, the goal mouth and an easy one for Amajoy to poke home. Yeah, that was too easy. Dewar with a goal and an assist in this contest, and that's the insurance yeah, that Champa Park has been working for. Not much Julie could do on that. Aze Amajoy, he's been all over the field tonight. He has, he's been good. And then Amajoy with the steal, or Haji rather with the steal. And now cleared away by Lynch. Sharambare battling at the back end of the Champlain Park defense. Ntambwe there to help out, Ntambwe. Moving it to Figueroa, that stopped up. Sharambare got it back to Figueroa. Bumped hard, ball taken away. And kept in along the near side by Gonzalez, out off of Mosier. Oh, it wasn't out, now it is. We're gonna keep playing until the ref blows his whistle, but. Give Coon Rapids the throw in. And now pressure on Coon Rapids. They need two, so they got to get one quick here. Down to about 12 minutes here. Short, uh, and Tomway in close, and a great save by McAdam. And McAdam coming up with a with a big save, as you, as you mentioned. Cardinals are going to get back into this. They're going to have to score one fairly quickly. Gibson tried to clear that out the sideline. Instead, it spins out the end line. It'll be a corner kick for the Rebels. Yeah, 
Aronson plays it to the middle, headed away by Bauer. Sharambere waits for it, quickly pressured by Birchall. Played to the middle for Pasker. Mitchell Zandorowski trying to find the way around the corner. And it'll be a goal kick for the Rebels. Coming up on the 10 minute mark left in this game. One thing the Cardinals can't afford to do is lose any intensity. Well, and at this point, the the Rebels can play a little looser now. They, they have can. that they have that that cushion that they needed, but they can also fall back and play a little bit more defensively and just go for the long clears. Anytime the ball's out of play, it's to their favor because time continues to tick away. Just about to cross under 10 minutes remaining. Champlain Park a 2-0 lead. Tangled up, they're gonna call that foul against the Rebels, which Cardinals lucky is a- Yeah, that would have been- uh, That would have been PK territory. Yeah, that, that would have been a very difficult situation for the Cardinal defense. That one just uh, easily back to the keeper and McAdam will wait and now punt it away. Musulf getting tangled up with one of the Rebels at midfield will get called for the foul. Virchel kicks it near side. Collins will settle. Push it ahead and Gonzalez to the middle. Haji creating some pressure and now. Oh, what a move. Yeah, he's, Dewar's got some, got some good footwork, there's no question. Goes down, still comes up and has the ball. And now a whistle will blow and it'll go against Kessley Dewar. Yeah, Call him for a push. Boy, he's got some, uh, some excellent footwork though. One bounce, two, and now rolling toward the end line. Bauer giving chase and cleared away in front of him at the last second by Ingram. Ingram just pushing that ball away. To, oh, but Bauer that, called no. for a push. Yep. Lynch settles. Carrying upfield, runs into Gonzalez and loses the ball. Play back at oh. Ooh, Ackerman and and Dewar collided Boy, heavily. Heavily, I, I think they went. They're going to uh, call it against Dewar. Went helmet that, to helmet. Take another look at that. Yeah, that uh, looked like they hit heads. Yeah, I thought so too. No showing, neither showing no. ill effects, and that's. Good sign, both bounced right back up. Ackerman definitely the bigger of the yeah, two. Yes, there's He's no big question. Kid. He is a big kid. And a big boot a little bit too far.
Podeste is header a little bit behind in Tombwe. Played ahead. Oh, Amajoy couldn't settle it. And now able to come back and steal it back from Mosier. Boy, Dewar's, Dewar's been impressive in the yes. middle of big crowds. Comes away with it, gets it to Haji near side, working against Ackerman, tried to cross. And this time, Jewel is not going to let it get past him. High boot. Well, one hop, McAdam misplayed it a little bit, but it's going to two hop and out the end line, goal kick. Mike Bia back in the action for Champlain Park. Pasker with a steer, steal near midfield. Ended off saying Tomboy got it right back. Then tried to poke it in the middle and it's played away by Pappen. And Tomboy in the middle. Running onto it is Elwan and his shot just wide and out of play. Another goal kick for the Rebels. Well, Cardinals trying to get something going offensively, trailing 2 0. Would life leave come, at least come away with a goal if nothing else? Gadam boots it back out near center. Amajoy showing that speed to get around the corner. Pressure from behind by Pasker. Ackerman breaks up the pass, turns it around for the Cardinals. Coon Rapids with the numbers. Sharambare, boot, and McAdam there for the save. Yeah, right into the midsection of McAdam. Zabriskie taps it to Ram. Romani and nearly got it back. Romani had another touch on it. Awanin goes down, tied up over there with Romani, and whistle will go against Coon Rapids. Bia with time to settle the ball. Look ahead at Mosier. Taps to Haji, gets it right back in the corner. Trying to get around the corner on Bauer. Crossing out front, a little too much angle on it, and it's going to skip out. But it's going to stay in in the far corner. Romani working against Hawanen. It'll be a goal kick, Coon Rapids. Well, if, the if the score should stay the way it is, this will push the Rebels record to seven and three, make them five and two in the conference. Cardinals will, will fall to three and four in the conference, four and five overall. Amajoy sneaking between the defenders, shot right on, but Jula is there for the save. Figueroa, working against a couple of defenders, slows down, looks for some more help, gets it over to Lynch. Shot by Pasker, chases the girls team out of their warmup. It's a pass to one of the girls. There are a lot of red jerseys over there. There are a lot of red jerseys over there in that corner. Bia can't turn that one back in. Throw in for Coon Rapids right near midfield. Oh, 
Under a minute remaining now. Uh, Cardinals, uh, unless something happens, will come away without a goal here tonight. You know, Coach Paco will uh, want to see a little more offense from his squad, but not seeing it here tonight. Figueroa gets to a spot. He can shoot. Nice save by McAdam. Control it on the far side. That did a nice job getting up high and getting enough of that ball to bring it in front of him. Headed back for Zabriskie. One last run for the Rebels. Zabriskie's shot off the back of Ackerman. Comes right back to him. Here's Amajoy, a shot with the left hand off the post and wide. And that'll be it. A little bit of pressure by the Cardinals, but not, uh, not nearly enough to hold off the Rebels. They're going to take that 2-0 win. Yeah, and they, and they, the Cardinals stayed in it. They definitely did better offensively yep. with the wind at their back in the second half, but never mounting real consistent, good scoring opportunity pressure. You know, it doesn't get easier for the Cardinals if they travel to Anoka on Thursday to take on the 6-3. and three. Uh, That's before today's action, Anoka Tornadoes. Defending state champion, yes. Tornado. So Coon Rapids able to get a little more pressure at the uh, Rebel end with the wind at their back, but the Rebels still found the way down the field and, and uh, created some scoring opportunities. And uh, finally were able to poke the uh, second goal in with about 13 and a half minutes remaining, and there it is. Great oh. pass. Oh, that was the one they crossed by cross Dewar. Yeah. There's the second one, and Amajoy just laughing. It was so <laughs> easy. He had 20 feet in net to shoot at. He'll take those easy ones anytime you can uh, convert them. Again, the final from Champlin Park. It's the Rebels 2, the Cardinals 0. We want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including the one and only Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.